Hi, and welcome to the sixth video, tu video tutorial of the Hibernate tutorial series by Lokum Chaniki. In the previous tutorial, we talked about how to create the Pojo class, that is the persistence class, and add the getters and setters along with its annotations. In this, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about setting up the configuration file, that is the hibernate.cfg.xml file in our project structure. Under the source folder, you can see that we already created the hibernate.cfg.xml file. Go on and double click on that to open up the XML file. You can see that as of now, there is nothing there present in it. So for this, let's open up our configuration file that we defined in the prerequisites earlier. For that, let's go over to desktop, where it's all over it, videos, documents. And you can see we have our configuration file. We'll just open it with text edit so that we can use these configurations. You can see that we have the configuration de details including the dialect, credentials and URL, as well as the JDBC driver. For this, let's go and include the DTD definition. This will mention that it's a Hibernate configuration file, right there at the top. The next step will be to add the root element of this particular XML file which is hibernate configuration. The next step will be to add a session factory. The reason why my things are occurring much, much more quicker than yours are is because I'm using a control space for suggestions. Session factory inside the hibernate configuration group. The next step will be to add properties and the property names. and to close these properties as well. The first property that we define is the dialect, which we also have in our configuration folder. If we just go over here, we can see that we have the dialect over here in org.hibernate.dialect.mysql dialect. Control that, control C that, and paste it in between the two tags to get the dialect added. The next step will be to add the property name equal to connection.url which defines the URL for the database. This as well we have in the configuration file with the database name mentioned as demo db, the local port being used as 3300 and local host as a host. So we just control V that again. The next step will be to add the credentials for the database. For this, add connection dot username, and our our username is demo user. Next step will be to add password, of course. Connection dot password, and the password is demo pwd. Next step will be to add property name equal to connection dot driver class which mentions which class we're using as a driver. For this we are going to open our configuration file in which we have the driver class as well. We need com.mysql.jdbc driver. For this to work we have to add the jdbc driver dot jar inside our reference libraries which we already did in the previous tutorials. As you can see we have the mysql connector Java jar right over here. So let's go over back here, control V, so that we can paste it into our properties. Now, the configuration file is completed. In case you're not using annotations and you wanted to use a mapping class or a mapping file using XML, you would have to define the mapping file resource inside the configuration file. Since we're using a much more later technology called annotations, we don't have to use the mapping file anymore. Hope you enjoyed our tutorials and visit us again. Please subscribe our videos and like them. Thank you.